This video contains uh, many certifiable thought crimes. Helldivers 2 is an amazing co-op shooter that plays exactly like No Man's Sky, except instead of exploring the cosmos, you uh, die horribly in the psalm. Every copy of Helldivers 2 is, uh, it is personalized. Joel wanted me to fight 10,000 fire ants. In a universe where humanity is beset on all sides by curious wildlife and the actual Terminators, Super Earth, the galaxy's last and only bastion of managed democracy, sends its finest men, women, and children over seven to liberate and spread freedom to the most horrifying hellscapes known to man, where war crimes are not only justified, but are necessary. We play as the Helldivers, humanity's finest in emancipation and friendly fire incidents. But uh, there's no need to worry about that last one because we are incredibly expendable. All across the galaxy, Liberty's enemies march ever closer. But through the power of teamwork, friendship, and 500 kilogram bombs, we will fight for freedom, for democracy, and most importantly, because it's really funny. Dudes be like, Helldivers 2 is military propaganda. My brother in Christ. It worked. Triple the defense budget. The first thing you'll notice upon entering the SES Judge of Judgment is the incredibly stupid name. And yes, you are able to name it other things using the Wizard 101 naming scheme. Things like the Pride of Pride, Star of the Stars, Patriot of Patriotism, and my personal favorite, the Founding Father of Family Values, because this game has a lot of violence in movies. Oh, <laughs> here you see me depicted as the Soy Wojak. The second thing you'll notice upon entering the bridge is the ongoing galactic war, and that we are currently fucking losing the galactic war. Which is why we need to suit up with exactly three of our friends and choose which planet is in vital need of the democratic process. If you don't have any friends, then uh, I hope you can speak good Mandarin. I think I did something to make him mad. But to win the Galactic War, we must first understand the Galactic War. We can ill afford another Malevolent Creek. Which is why I'm going to go over each of the two fronts that are currently reducing us to smears across the galaxy. And uh, I'm going to do it at difficulty 7 or above, which is coincidentally the perfect enlistment age. On the left-turn side of the political spectrum, we have the Automaton Front, an enemy focusing on range tactics, heavy armor in slight excess, and an extremely high amount of explosive ordnance. Oh, I'm out of here, guys, later. If that sounds a little bit intimidating, then don't worry. I haven't even gotten to the horde of angry chainsaws yet. Chainsaw Man reference goes in the video here. But talking about the Automaton Front is never complete without talking about the fucking Creek or, as it is known by our honored veterans, Space Vietnam. This goddamn planet has been single-handedly responsible for most of our casualties. <laughs> My leg! Is this SpongeBob? And that is genuinely impressive, considering that uh, 10 million men have already died in the Battle of the Madagascar Lemur. Those are considered rookie numbers, and we're already outpacing the Taiping Rebellion. In fact, every single military operation we conduct is in a, some way related to Malevolon Creek. And personally, I don't really see what all the hype is about. After all, it's just one planet. How important could one planet possibly be? I am a human supremacist! We will unlock the secrets of the universe. God has laid them out like Christmas presents for his children. Boot camps got fucking weird recently. <laughs> Malevolent Creek, and by extension, the rest of the front, is essentially an exercise in how much PTSD one man can possibly get. Their firepower is so overwhelming, so absolutely constant, that describing it as an endless retreat where you accidentally accomplish all of your objectives would be very generous, as it implies that I do the objectives. Fucking shit! This can occasionally push you into what we call a unfortunate tactical positions, at which point your main options for survival are going to be uh, watching your slower friends get burned to death in the Maycock. 
I will never unhear that scream. So yes, this planet may be what economists call a bad use of our human capital, but after dealing with several days of what I can only describe as angry forklift decommissioning, oh shit, this motherfucker's not OSHA certified. You really need a step ladder for that, sir. Okay, call me crazy, but I think there's a turret around this corner, guys. I fucking hate the creek. I can safely say that the attachment has become fucking personal. And honestly, I just want to see how many bodies one planet can hold. We lost Vietnam. We lost Afghanistan. And yes, we definitely lost America. So goddammit, I am not going to lose this shit to ones and zeros. God gave this galaxy to a non-binary species. And service guarantees gender affirmation. Uh, fun facts about the bot front. Number 10. Man urinates on fellow passenger for not being allowed to smoke. Number 9. If you happen to make the mistake of fighting here, you're quickly going to realize that most of our forces are Chinese, each one taking glorious revenge against the steel plants they work in. Very auspicious behavior. And conversely, we Guilo have been sent by our barbarian prince to fight the hordes of angry roaches, for it is the god-given right of the defense lobby to remind the bugs that it is man who is made in God's image. Really can't wait to die on fucking, uh, legally distinct Clendathu. The Terminid Front, sorry, the Terminid Population Problem is a wide assortment of increasingly horrifying demons, each one abandoned by their creators in completely different ways. Uh, my, my guy's got a bad case of the rigor mortis. We've got small bugs, big bugs, immortal bugs, bugs that function as artillery, and of course, the bugs that stalk you at night. Thankfully for us though, Napalm is an equal opportunity employer. And uh, a lot of positions are open right now. That is to say, once you start fighting the bugs, you do not stop for about 40 minutes or so. Because uh, they just spawned a battalion from the ground like the goddamn Viet Cong for the third time in a row. And I do not have enough raid for this shit. Good fucking throw, dude. I, I just want to walk to the McDonald's, guys. I'm just a level one goblin. It's literally my birthday. I'm a little birthday boy. And do you want to know the worst part about this war? We, uh, don't really know how they move between planets. And I don't think they have what you would call a plan. Rather, the Terminids simply appear in places they wish to eviscerate. Kind of like a Whole Foods. So, uh, you can imagine my shock when I learned that those white bitches were trying to gentrify the moon. They are ruining the amazing local culture of, uh... California. I hope it's becoming obvious that fighting these things under normal circumstances is what we call, uh, same-day shipping to God. <laughs> what the fuck? Fortunately for us, though, we have access to a wide variety of unique and hilarious tools, which are only accessible via inputting a series of hand signs, informally known as Airstrike Jutsu. Whether it's big airstrikes, bigger airstrikes, biggest airstrike the engine can sustain, or airstrikes that specialize in killing everything except the enemy, there are so many bad guys with so much damage to be done that the most challenging part is keeping your team out of the blast radius. I got 500 kilogram ready. What have you fucking done? And yes, you do have to throw them, which means you can drop them, throw the wrong asset, and even attach them to enemies that are running into you. My personal favorite combination is definitely the napalm and chlorine gas, for when you really, really want your enemies to feel pain. Inside and out. We also offer a gluten-free variety. Now, of course, airstrikes aren't the only thing we can deliver, just most of them, because here at the Defense Department, we take care to provide, to, to provide, to provide, why can't I say words? A wide array of support tools, and by support tools, I mean the machine gun, which are crucial and necessary for fighting, uh, literally anything. We've got flamethrowers, jetpacks, automatic lasers that demand human sacrifice, <laughs> average American police taser with unlimited ammo, automatic targeting, and a vendetta against teammates <laughs> for when you really hate everything in a general direction, railguns that encourage you to fire volleys like Napoleonic line infantry. It also has two fire modes called safe mode and unsafe mode. And of course, the uh, giant death robots that randomly explode sometimes. <laughs> What? That is the last time I buy a fucking Tesla. <laughs> My uh, personal favorite strategy involves everyone giving their mechs to the designated disabled man who will proceed to stay inside of six different wheelchairs for 40 minutes. And as a caveat, we force him to crawl on the ground between mechs for immersion reasons. 
But honestly, all of these fantastic tools absolutely pale in comparison to the fast and convenient resupply of Gamersup's energy drinks, here to give you a fantastic boost to your gaming abilities, which, if you want to win this battle, I will now expect of you. We in the Chinese are not going to be taking back Osto 2 on 8 hours of sleep, but uh, they did also release a sleep aid in case somebody gives you too much energy. <laughs> How am I getting away with this shit? Gamersups comes in many different flavors, such as Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, Grandpa's Ashes, and uh, good. It's a, uh, it's just good. All at the low price of 40 cents per stratagem, which is literally cheaper than the dirt I am dying over. I uh, went to Amazon and checked. So if you are still watching this video somehow, and uh, God bless you if you are, you can have Gamersups delivered with 10% off by opening the description and clicking the special stratagem code. What else do we have? Uh, uh, we have sentry guns, in case you really don't want to play the game, as well as a strange amount of primaries that are child safe. Can't wait for the devs to nerf this one and say some shit like, Sorry, Helldivers. Command sent us Rigatoni instead of Railgun shells. Now, uh, in this kind of environment with this many fireworks, casualties are not just expected. They are required. You, uh, don't really get to 12 million by being an easy game, which is why, upon the occurrence of my teammate's tragic passing, I will gain the ability to replace my friends with a legally distinct Helldiver, ready to fight and die for the worst planets you have ever seen. Like my brother in Christ, you are fighting over the Arizona Ice Tea world. Missions in this game are usually comprised of exploring new and fantastic worlds, and then building a Walmart supercenter on them. Local residents be damned. To that end, we have a great diversity of missions, like geological surveys, rescuing civilians who move their heads like confused avians. He's like a chicken! Spreading industrial amounts of carcinogenic gas and launching the fucking nuclear missile. We did it, Patrick. We saved Istanu. <laughs> Along with a myriad of side objectives, which usually boil down to, uh, killing everything that moves. And occasionally, loading a gun that will do it for you. We, uh, don't really talk about the Eradicate missions because they tend to play themselves. All in service to liberate a planet by an astounding 0.0003%. This isn't a fucking charity, all right? Reach 100% liberation and lose all of it the very next day. I am currently reporting to you from the fifth Siege of Helldiver. Planets in Helldivers also have a unique blend of beautiful environments, like the Heaven Planet, where it is impossible to escape God's light. The Constant Meteor Storm Planet, where it is illegal to stand still. The Fire Tornado Planet. The, uh, weird fucking animal planet. I'm going to call you, uh, Genghis Shingles Ringer, and the planet that, before it was removed from the game, randomized your airstrikes, which made the process of calling a resupply much more interesting. Please put this back in the game. Look, Helldivers is a game that gives you a lot of tools, and a lot of places to use them. So honestly, the task of describing it all to you is, uh, not my fucking job. The developers are literally adding things faster than I can show them to you. I, uh, began making this video before mechs existed. So inevitably, when the day comes that Arrowhead adds the secret third faction that we don't legally know anything about, I guess I'll be making a video about it. As long as this one gets views. Overall, Helldivers 2 is an absolute chaotic mess, where every mission begins and ends with the assumption that we are not going to make it. And yet, somehow, some way, I still find a way to disappoint my friends. Some may consider it difficult, while others may consider it fucking bullshit. But personally, surviving against all odds in the face of complete, absolute absurdity is a big reason that I still love this game, no matter how many game-breaking bugs they introduce. Uh, sorry, Helldivers. This gun's accuracy rating is so high that it causes integer overflow. And with the Galactic War still ongoing, our story of spreading managed democracy has only just begun. We have the ships. We have the weapons. We need soldiers. Soldiers like the uh, angry Chinese guy. Service guarantees affordable health care. They'll keep fighting and they'll win. As long as the bug front plays the game today. On a more personal note, the Ministry of Truth extends its gratitude to all of its very kind patrons, enabling and financing our propaganda on a truly galactic scale. Your money is being put to excellent use, making only the funniest and most original content. 
Anyways, uh, time to report to my execution now.